Oh yeah. Du, 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 du. Hello, my friends. Flo, start the stream. That's what I'm doing. The hype is real. You can't wait. And I'm also super happy to be live. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to this live stream. We're going to be making art today. It's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. So how are you doing? Cody, Attila, Christopher, I make that. Felicia. Um, so Anita Vestiarani. Uh, welcome here. First time here. So welcome. Welcome to the stream. So the idea... I'm going to cut the music. Hold on. Hold on. It's not this music, it's just for the hype. Just for the beginning hype. I need to push the sound a little bit before I start. It hypes me up. It does. Alright. But it's annoying and it's too loud. But I know it. <laughs> okay. Alright, so the idea of the stream anita and everybody here for the very first time is we're gonna ma be making some art we're gonna be discussing talking about stuff and we're gonna talk about portraits because that's what i'm gonna do today and we're gonna discuss some essential stuff for portraits especially because we also have a self-portrait challenge in the discord and i know some people are kind of nervous about approaching portraits so we're gonna try to to reveal some of the you know the tricks of the trades or I, I don't want to say secrets there is no secrets there are some things that you can apply to make your portrait painting easier so what that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna be making some art and you're encouraged to make art yourself in the background or do whatever you want to do it's going to be a slow slow pace session we're gonna paint we're gonna have fun we're gonna listen to some music and just uh, be in a good mood the idea is you can put me in the background you don't have to listen to everything i say put me in the background and do your own paintings i know that some people like to live paint for the duration of the stream which is crazy uh, some people actually sometimes live paint me so here Taking the pose. What, what pose do you want? All right. Y you have fun with this pose if you want to life paint me. I like. Don't ask me. Some people actually life paint me during the streams. So. Actually, posing is super hard like you don't think about it before you are confronted to the experience but i'm gonna tell you this story so when um so i did i did six months in an in an art school i i took a, a semester there and like we sometimes had uh, most of the time we had sessions with you know models but models like they are people and sometimes they get sick and they can't go to work. That's their job, is to pose for you in the art school, but sometimes they can't be there. So <laughs> what do you do? When we missed a, a session, most of the students at the time would decide to just um, um, take role, like take turns and pose for ourselves, like do 10, 20 to 30 minute sessions of pose. So you, you pose for the students making mostly mostly portraits um so you pose for uh, 30 minutes then another student take the turn but you don't you don't realize how tough it is to pose with the bright light in your face and and just keep steady it, it, like sitting is tough but imagine like i had some some uh, professional models actually they were holding a pose that was like that there was this model uh this this guy wow carved i'm not kidding carved like a greek god really like you could see 
each individual muscle on this guy, it was just such a perfect model. He was just amazing and he was like a statue. I'm not kidding. He could hold a pose like that. Like something like that, you know, with a, some type of a rope. He could be like that for like 30 minutes sessions. I, what is it? No, it was 20 minutes with, um, no, 30 or 20. I like, I don't know. I, my memory is messed up here, but he could hold poses like that. Like, can you imagine with huge contrapost or not? Like super impressive. Like imagine like just, I, I give you a challenge here. Just use the, the timeline, the, the, the time codes on this stream here and just Try to hold this position with, you know, your hips like that and, well, sorry, I have some connection issues with my mic here. <laughs> I'm trying to do too much. Uh, with your hips like that and try to hold it for like 30 minutes. And this guy was, every time he came back from, from the breaks, he would take exactly the perfect pose and I know because I was I was using a reference point in the background to see how his body was positioned every time and he was a machine and then we had this session with only students and we took turns taking the pose ourselves posing for ourselves and oh my god we couldn't even like sit down without moving for ourselves for 30 minutes <laughs> or yes we could like i'm exaggerating yeah sure we could but we were so bad we were like so shaky like oh, oh yeah you're moving Florent. oh sorry yeah i forgot <laughs> or just uh i'm trying to look like the trick is you look at a certain point and you stare at it so like let's say i look at this here and I'm going to stare at it and try to memorize the position of my body. But then it gets boring looking at the same point in the background. So I'm going to look slightly in the periphery, try to see if there's something more fun and interesting. And then all of a sudden, like your, your entire body is driven by where your eyes are looking and you're like in a completely different position. It's tough, man. It's tough. Ah, oh, man. So, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, we're going to talk about portraits. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to have fun. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, well, just uh, that's what we're going to do. Um, but yeah, the title, the title of this, all right, uh, is there something that I didn't see? Uh, and then I'm going to just hang, go, go back to the titles that this one thing that I wish I knew for portraits that can save you uh, a lot of time and effort. Uh, hi, Vegistan. Hi, Ellen. Finally got to the beginning of one. Yes, you did it. Uh, Art Thinkers. Hello. Um, I was painting actually for first time on oils. Wow, good luck, Art Thinkers. That's usually a great moment. Uh, I hope you like it. And if, if anything happens, Discord is in the description. And as always, you know, you know, where is it? Like and subscribe to the channel because we have tons of of stuff here and ask away. Make sure you hit the little bell uh, to get notified every time I go live and ask away if you have questions with oil while you're doing it. Uh, good evening from South Africa. Good evening from France. Um, okay, I'm doing gouache painting right now. All right, good luck with your gouache painting. That's awesome. Um, and feel free to go in the Discord, by the way, and 
share what you do in the Discord. It's what we have. Um, and this is here. That's what we have the Discord for. If you want to share your pictures, you just you can go in just show your art. And you can post there with all the lovely people that also post their pictures of their art and uh, the art challenge. So let's review the art challenge. Oh, super cool challenge. Very tricky. Um, so it's not the final. We, like if you still haven't done it, we can still, uh, you'll still have time. Uh, why aren't the commands working? Yes, why aren't they working? Sorry, uh, Cody. <laughs> uh, because I didn't uh, click on the button. That's why. Silly me. <laughs> it's just my mistake. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, if you try again, you should see if it works maybe it works maybe it doesn't and make sure to boop the like the like boop blah, blah. make sure to hit the like button to uh, look at all these likes isn't that pretty well there is also a like button on this YouTube channel on this YouTube live stream and it helps me you don't like you don't realize that when you're just watching here but it really does help me it promotes the stream to more people and it helps grow the channel, grow the audience and make it like financially sustainable for me and my family. So it helps like really likes. It's almost like currency now, but um, it should work. Let, let, let me just see if it works here. Um, just making sure the comments, by the way, the comments, what Cody is talking about for everybody who doesn't know. Oh no, it doesn't work because I'm not connected. All right, now I'm connected. Now it should work. <laughs> the commands are little functions that you can type in the chat to get into, um, to play on the stream and just uh, uh, make different functions appear. If you type exclamation point CMD, exclamation point CMD without space, it will tell you every command that you can enter. Just try exclamation point CMD and everything will be um, will be clear to you. I'm going to actually uh, put that in the title this way. People will know what can be done with the commands. Self-portrait challenge. All right, so cheating was allowed, like making self-portrait with costume and mask. And I was saying you can be creative if you want to accessorize. Uh, self-portrait challenge is a tough one. You voted for a tough one. Like, it's not my ID. I didn't decide to do that. Like, you guys decided during a previous stream to do that. But it's a tough, it's a tough challenge. Like, getting the likeness is tricky. It's difficult and getting your own likeness is tricky. It's less, um, it conduces to less anxiety because if you mess it up, like, I mean, you're not going to be mad. Like if, if somebody is asking for a portrait of, like if a different person is asking for a portrait, like they might not like the, what they're seeing and they might not, um, find the likeness good enough if it's just you well fine so it's good to train with your own picture all right so this is socrates who painted um some self-portrait drawings with the little story lots of the sketches by socrates are done in a taxi which is crazy uh, during his like breaks i guess uh, Rylan, this disease, uh, what is that? Graphite or, um, and this one is a painting. Yep. Yeah. Pretty cool. Like the Karaskuro and, uh, really like it. Really cool. 
Rosa did some, like, it's a complete project, actually, with tons of them. I really like these, like, kind of uh, snippets. It's funny how, like, it's so easy to do selfies with a phone nowadays. Like, we have lost track of what it means to make a picture of yourself because it became so easy. Look at that. A room full of, like, the entire art project. Super cool, Rosa. With all the different variations, really nice. Uh, Balsam here was uh, in the in the work in progress here for this one. Joy also had this one. Oh, that's cool! That I really love seeing the evolution here with this first one and here. The complete wow like see how it can go from very simple here like you can barely see the features here all the edges still are undefined and and voila with just a couple touch here here and there and it refines the entire thing it makes it cool this this one by Felicia really cool and I, I kind of feel exactly the 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 wow that's that i cool I, I really like the pose i like the the expression it's super cool i love the reflections on the glasses it's always so oh it's always so great I didn't decide, but would you still blame me? Oh yes, you always blame me though, so I'm getting used to it, Felicia. <laughs> and this one, look at this one! I love it! Oh my god, decided on a fancy dress. Isn't that a royal, like, I don't know how you call that, royal costume? <laughs> it's so awesome. I love it. Wow, look at this one, the progression. Remember, this was this one back there. How far it went. Love that little setup with the iPad here. It looks very nice, very comfortable. Although I don't like this because you don't have the, the room to paint like when you're like here. Like there's always something that like you can't put your hel your elbow like here for example um in this case in my case here i can put my elbow here for example you know and paint from there except that if your painting is on the table your elbow is always like that it kind of mess the 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 position of your arm the amplitude that you can have uh but um Really cool though, the little setup, I like it. I would just hang it on, on my easel, like put it here. Like so that I just have room here, like empty space here below the the, the, paint, the canvas. Your desk at work? Oh, you paint at work. <laughs> I love this, I love this. Love the idea. So some people know they chew gum, they, they go on Facebook, some people just paint, you know, normal. <laughs> All right. So, but that's really, wow, that's awesome, the, the progression. And this one, kind of cheating, cheating because these are old. Like, it's not cheating if it's old. Do you think I did mine for the, 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 the presentation? I didn't do it like just for this. I it it was there before, and um, it's um, it's allowed. Art never gets old, so uh, haven't started the new one. But that's cool. So Vengo inspired. If you don't get the Vengo uh, reference, well, you need to educate yourself because here. We are Van Gogh uh, fans. Uh, my work in progress, Christopher, your work in progress is in share your art. Well, oh, okay, good. 
<laughs> nice, Christopher. It's better. Like, I was going to go look for it, but, like, this is the right place. Look at that. It's awesome. What is that? Is that a, a grisai or is it's just a wash? Is this white? It looks varnished already. It's funny. What are you... What medium are you using? It's funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just the photo. It feels like it's a, you know, a varnished photo. <laughs> really cool, though. Like, you can keep it like that and almost be satisfied. Like, you know, kind of keep this sepia aesthetic. Really like to... Um, I uh, really like to keep this aesthetic in place. I really find it really, um, really cool. How do I post a photo? There's a little plus here, just next to your, um, next to message here. There's a little plus if you're on a, a computer. If you are on a phone, I don't know, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to describe, but, you know, somebody can help you uh, here. Help 141858. <laughs> Okay, and that's that's what we have for our little discussion of um, principles of uh, drawing. No, no, we our review of the art challenge. Still time to if you still want to participate. If you haven't posted anything, and you want, um, it's not for a critique. There is a, a there is actually a place if you want to receive critique for um, your art there is actually a place on the on the channel oh thank you cock um if you if you want critique there is a place for that the art challenge is mostly for fun it's to get motivation and uh, get an excuse to to paint but um, there is also a place for critique, so that's cool. All right, so Discord link expired. Really, man, I thought I put a a non-expiring link. All right, so I'm gonna fix it. Uh, I'm gonna fix it right now, actually, since I'm here. I. Technically, I only use non-expiring links, but this is so annoying with Discord. All right, I'm gonna update here in real time. Oh, links. Uh, okay, so this was still the the old the old description. So maybe sure, maybe it wasn't updated. All right, now the Discord should work. Okay, time for our little discussion. The one thing I wish I knew about portraits when I first uh, started. So let me just go there and get my screen. So a layer of liquid linseed to seal the grease eye. Ah. ah, nice. Okay, that's why it looks kind of varnished. Pretty cool. Okay. So, uh, actually, 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 let me just get a different lens so that you can see a bit better. Because I have a nice fancy screen. And I bought, for you, I bought a little white marker here. Let me see if it works. I'm trying to just the sharpness i have this little white marker it's my it's an old black glass palette that i used to have before oh, it's going to have a hard time focusing i guess but I'm gonna do my best hold on i'll be right back All right, I'm gonna readjust the focus. So, one super important thing when you want to paint uh, portraits, self-portraits or portraits, whatever it is you want, is you want to have a, you want to have 
not focus on features. <laughs> Hello, Jeff. One super important thing is actually you want to forget about features of the face. Like, you don't want to draw the shape of an eye. It, it looks cool, I know. Let, let me know if it's in focus, if the writing is in focus. But I think it is. I think it is. You don't want to see an eye, a nose, uh, a mouth, uh, and ears, stuff like that. Like ears, they don't really matter. That, that's not what you want because these, if you think, okay, to make a portrait, I need to draw an eye. Then I need to go, I need to do the left eye, the right eye. So what's, what is the shape of an eye or how to, how to draw an eye? And you can go on, on, on YouTube actually, on this platform, you'll find plenty of tutorials on how to draw an eye. No problem about that, sure. But drawing an eye, the left eye and the right eye separately as these like, the, is this not necessarily going to work on the whole face? It's not necessarily going to help the likeness because, because you will see that something more important needs to be done for the likeness because what you want ultimately is likeness. How do you get likeness? Um, maybe this is... I'm still checking if it's sharp or not. Maybe I shouldn't put it at such an angle. You, you tell me if you can't read. Uh, exactly, Cody, you got it exactly. If you do that, if that's what I wanted to write here. You're gonna make symbols. And if you try to go for features, you'll think about symbols and you'll have a symbolic approach on on the face but what you want to do if you actually want to get likeness is you want to focus on shapes and and super important what well, that that's super important you want to focus on positive shapes and negative shapes. You're asking me, well, what, what's a positive shape? What's a, a negative shape? Ah. Let's say an eye, an eye socket. It might have some shadows and the shadows might encompass like a portion of the orbit here maybe it goes all the way to the eyebrow and actually your eye doesn't look like that the positive shape of the eye will be something i don't know like that like this would be the shape of your eye because of the shadows because of and this would be the pupil and this is like, you know, it can have a very weird shape. So we've talked about that. Uh, we've talked about this idea of uh, how do you get the, the, the shapes like that right. Um, you, you might think about animals. Animal shapes. Have fun, like maybe, like to me, looks like a rooster. So maybe I do something like that. So I keep this in my memory. Then the nose, it might actually look like that. Doesn't look anything like that, like the symbol. It might look like that. The mouth might look like you might see the upper lip here. And the, the, like it might be a shape like that. Um, and 
the negative shapes is shapes between the positive shapes like space distances that's super important for example the distance between the the bottom of the nose and the 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 big the end the the, the last part of the chin so you try to see what this distance is And you make sure that the distance on your model and the distance on your, sorry, you don't see much here, on your model and on your uh, subject are the same. So negative shapes, empty space, sorry, my mic is, my mic doesn't like it when I'm here. It's the empty space. And these shapes are filled with shadows. And this is actually, by doing that, you will abstract instead of symbolize, you will abstract the shapes. And this is actually how you will get likeness. And later you can come back to, okay, so how is this particular shape? How is this particular eye shaped? Uh, what's the, but if you think about distances, if you think about uh, animal shapes, think abstractly, don't think that it's a face, think that it's a flat object. Imagine that you have some, imagine that you have some, sorry, imagine that you have some, um, Okay, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this in focus. Come on, focus, please. It's super tough. My, my camera really doesn't want to focus this, this black and white contrast, really doesn't like it, but makes it kind of a neon look though so imagine that it's a that these are shapes the, the shapes that you're looking for are shapes that you could cut in a piece of paper so instead of thinking in 3d you don't want to think in 3d when you think about shapes you want to abstract them so that they are in your head like in your brain you comprehend them as 2d objects that you could cut in a piece of paper and once you have that any object can be painted can be represented i'm not gonna say with ease but I'm going to say more successfully with uh, less, uh, you know, you're going to struggle less. Let's just say that. That's, that's my little trick. That's no, not a little trick, actually. It's a, one of the main principles of representation, but it helps. And once you start thinking about um, drawing and painting like that, you realize that everything can be thought and understood in the same manner and it really helps. I see a rabbit. Well, <laughs> okay. All right. So now I'm going to do a little um, painting actually here on this little canvas of ours. And and yeah, we're going to try to um, see how it goes. So let me bring back my palette. And we are on our way to a wonderful painting evening. Perfect. Uh, 
Okay, I posted my portrait in the Discord. Oh, nice. Well, let's check it out. Okay, let's check it out. We had some... Uh... Oh, nice. We had some new things. So, Kim posting this one. Lovely. Really cool. And this one, a drawing I did after moving my bedroom in 1972. Wow. That's cool to find that you have old pictures like that. They're still so well preserved. That's nice. So yeah, no, today's not a self-portrait. I'm going to do uh, a portrait for just um, a painting for, uh, you know, regular painting stuff. But um, yeah, but uh, I figured since we do self-portrait in the art challenge, we can also um, have a look at, uh, at the challenge at the submissions on the on the Discord. Oh my god, I dropped a, a paintbrush. I really like this, um, actually, um, I, I should actually take, well, I'm not going to bother you with that, but I'll take a photo of the blackboard afterwards, because I, I really like how it, um, how it brings everything forward. Or actually, maybe I can take it out here. Just, we'll see how reactive you are. Um, all right. Take. We'll see who knows the command to take a photo, to take a screenshot. And I'm promising you that I'm not putting my face in front of, of it. I'm waiting for the command. It's usually a stream delay, so I can wait here. <laughs> okay, you know what? It's too slow. I'm paying. I'm I'm making the screenshot myself. Screenshot taken in the Discord. Oh, Felicia, screenshot you got taken it. taken in the Discord. Nice. And Christopher here. <laughs> With the stream delay, it's like I can wait. <laughs> but that's cool. Thanks for taking the picture. So now it automatically posts this picture in Discord. That's crazy. That's what comments can do. If everybody was wondering, anybody was wondering what comments do, that's what they do. They take a photo automatically. Super cool. Well, I find it super cool. And if you don't find this super cool, maybe I'm just a nerd, but I like this stuff. I find it interesting and I actually I worked a lot to make it happen so I'm, I'm happy that it works you know satisfaction at every level <sighs> yes you know that's philosophy though if you if you're into painting the frustration can be a huge part of your experience so appreciating the little things let's say i mean not just for painting but you know it's a super important like philosophy to keep in mind like enjoy the little things the little victories because well let's just face it painting is not for everybody there is a lot of frustration there's a lot of um you know, you spend a lot of time cleaning. Like, it feels sometimes like painting is like mostly doing chores. Like, you're cleaning all the time, cleaning your brushes, 
cleaning your your palate and yeah it kind of feels like the reward is is great don't get me wrong the reward of a, getting a painting done is super rewarding but think about how much pure enjoyment you have and how much chores you do every day so enjoy the little things because most of your creative time is about doing chores who agrees <laughs> oh that's nice balsam i can't stop painting and when I, when i have to i'm thinking about painting that's awesome that's true love for the art that's that's amazing. So I don't know if I want a blue underpainting or a pink red underpainting. I'm gonna go for uh, actually yeah, I'm gonna go for red pink and orange. I'm gonna I'm gonna make the cards pop today. I, I feel inspired. Cad orange. Almost never use it creatively today with you. I'm gonna use this beast. It's a wonderful card. It's a wonderful orange. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, my baby. Oof. My baby, Crinacridon Rose. such a great such a such a wonderful pigment oh my god okay um i'm gonna do my painting with that but i i should think about drying time hmm drying time these these two dry slowly, so let's be smart about it. So I want another painting that's a mix of these, but they both dry pretty slowly. So I'm gonna, it's still the end of painting, so it's going to be just a wash. So it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna make it a, an actually brownish with this. I don't want to start immediately with a dryer. I could use a, a, a dryer like that. Actually, let's just add a little touch. It can just help a bit. I try to stay away from dryers as much as I can. But here in this case, I'm gonna use a bit. Well, first of all, this, this orange brown is not what I want. Well, this Crinacridon is not a super slow dryer though, so I'm fine. I'm gonna be fine. It's just the cadmium dries sp very slowly. So if I add a touch of this, yeah, that's kind of what I want. Kind of what I want. I don't know. I'll, I'll test it and I'll, I'll, I'll see you. I'll tell you what it does. I couldn't sleep at night last night because I kept wanting to go back into the studio and paint. Oh my god. Such passion. It's it warms my heart to know that there are people who live for that. Well, yeah, permanent rose is basically um it's basically that chat. Like if you have the Winsor Newton, they call this one permanent rose. I called it Kunakron because it has so many different names, but um, well, it's technically it's yeah, it is called permanent rose. Ooh. So let's see what this does. Um. Oh. Mm.
You know what? I never used this color for an underpainting before. I, I think I never used, like, I don't have a memory, I don't have any visual memory of using a, 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 an underpainting like that. So it's going to be a first. Ah, nice. This one is so nice, though. Hello, Nolan. Welcome back. How are you doing? Oh yeah, I love it. I like it. It's it's inspiring because I've almost never started a painting with tones like that. I've used, you know, um, Venetian red, so iron, iron oxide red, stuff like that before. But this is feels very different. Hi, Ren's Kitchen and Garden. Hey, thank you very much. Hope you'll enjoy it. Uh, what's an edge in painting? Well, uh, um, let's me, let me, you know, let me just hold on to this question and when I actually get to an edge I'll I'll try to respond to your question because um, an edge is basically the the, the 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 separation between two shapes that's that's just that like like most of the time in painting we, we use shadow shapes and uh, the edge is basically the, the limit between the two. So I'm gonna create a little black here and I'm gonna make it pink, kind of wine, wine black, wine lease. I learned all painting from Bob Ross and I want to refine my skills a little. Nice, well, my approach is very different from Bob Ross though, so you'll, you'll have something very different. But more, um, more figurative, Bob Ross is more like imagining a landscape out of your, basically out of your head. And I'm more about using models in using my imagination but still with models Bob Ross actually he he did a great job like getting people into painting like he influenced a lot of um, a lot of people by just encouraging them to to pick up painting just get the Get the motivation. That's really cool. You can say what you want about his his art, the painting he made. Love it or not, um, he was like like a super positive force in the world of art. He made art popular, and and that's cool. Uh, okay, so what do I have here? Okay, I'm gonna start with the largest brush that I have and see what goes from there. Flemish secretive medium is just a, a medium that dries fast 
it it's made for fast uh, drying like if you want your painting to dry fast uh, I would stay away from it <sighs> I don't know I don't I don't really see um I don't really see a point in in um using it for the entire like usually with fast drying mediums what I love to do is use them for um to balance the drying rates between my pigments. So let's say I have one pigment that dries very slowly and one pigment that dries very fast. So cadmium yellow, uh, cadmium orange dries slowly and the uh, burnt amber dries very fast. So I want to balance out the drying rates between the two. So I'm gonna use a, a secative on the slow dryer and and uh, no secative, mostly a slow drying oil as much as I can on the bath dryer and try to balance that. And usually when they are mixed together, it doesn't uh, cause problems, but if you, uh, if you use layers and let's say your bottom layer only has cadmium orange and your top layer only has like burnt amber there's going to be problems if they are mixed generally you know no problem so most of the time you don't really need secatives you can play around with um with it's too big this face is too big uh hold on No, yeah, too big. Slightly too big. Made it come back to the masses before him it was high class only thing because people wouldn't understand it. He brought modern art back to the people in my opinion. Yeah, he brought not modern art because modern art still is a thing of its own. <coughs> but he made it art like practice fun for a lot of a lot of people and he made it popular. Not as a sort of a fancy stuff that you collect but more a, a nice uh, a nice inspiring thing that you can do to have fun so he was very good at that my teacher is very adamant about us learning with primary colors magenta cyan and yellow i haven't started yet it's a first for me any thoughts about it um and i'm gonna go far with magenta cyan and yellow unless you're a printer but fine just learn how he wants to he or she wants you to learn i guess you know my thoughts about about color it's all in my um color resources on my channel on my uh, my website like I have my list of color in the description I think you need you don't need colors you need pigments to paint the thing is color is an abstraction it's like it's just like saying okay you know a physician uh, or no let, let's say 
an engineer needs geometry to launch a rocket into space. Sure, you need geometry, like it's an abstract idealization of what a line is, but when you actually have to do the line in the actual world, you need more than that, you need some applied skills. Color on its own doesn't mean nothing unless it lives within a pigment. Oh my god, I just, before I start uh, and before I move on with the, the, the portrait, I totally forgot. Announcement, huge announcement. Yes. Drum rolls, yes, announcement, because we have, actually, we, we have an announcement to make for next, uh, oh, we have a new suggestion, su submissions, nice, selfie well painting, nice, awesome, awesome uh, artist Kevin, okay, uh, yeah, I wanted to make a break because you're here, and while I still have you, announcement, the next Fridays, I'm just making a little break for this huge announcement, uh, drum rolls and, and what have you, uh, what, what can we have? Next week is, yeah, very important. Hey, listen! Okay, listen, listen good. Uh, very important, next week, next Friday, the stream will start at 8 for my time, so one hour before the usual time. I'll put a reminder, I'll, you'll get notified again, no problem. But because we have a guest, next Friday we have a guest and I'm super hyped and super happy because we are going to have the wonderful and amazing Alpi effort next week, Friday. Next Friday we'll be with, uh, we'll be with Alpi and yeah, it's going to be Awesome, we're gonna paint it together. So we're gonna have a, a double view with me on one side, Alpa on the other. And we're gonna try to uh, not talk too much and at, try to actually entertain you with some paintings. So it's going to be super fun and it's going to start one hour before. And I'll make a list, I'll make a Discord post. And if you have questions, um, definitely Post them in the Discord if you have questions for Alpi, of course, not for me, because I'm always there. You can always ask me questions, but he's going to be there just next Friday, the 19th. Put that in your uh, um, agenda. Mark this day on your calendar and make sure to be there because it's going to be fun. And it's going to be like a nice, like, Every guest stream has been just pure enjoyment. It's so great for me to not not feel like I'm, I'm not feeling alone because I have you guys, but like, oh my God, it's nice to talk with someone, like voice chat while I'm painting. It's a cool experience and it's going to be next week. So this was it for the announcement. So can we have some likes? For Alpi, I want to see some likes in the on the YouTube here. We we need, we deserve like because he told me he's not coming until there is like 100 likes on this uh, on this stream. So just saying. <laughs> All right, I'll try to be here. Yeah, he's awesome and handsome and awesome. Makes wonderful paintings. I mean. Come on, what more can I bring you? <laughs> okay, all right, back to the painting. So yeah, it's going to be super fun. I need to make some serious announcements. Ah, oh, yeah. So he was, um, he was actually um, super hyped when I uh, asked him, he was like, yeah, I usually don't listen to, you know, podcasts and stuff, but 
What you're suggesting sounds fun. Like he was saying, I don't listen too many to art, too much to art, you know, art talks. But he said like this, the idea of the live painting, like together was uh, interesting and fun and and definitely, definitely, it is. So, yeah, what I was saying, um, negative space negative shapes this is it for example here the bottom of the the lip and the bottom of the chin just try to get this proportional to the spacing between other features and try to think in terms of shapes and not so here you're not going to see me try to draw an eye You'll see me try to draw the shadow shapes. Is actually there are actually some some shadows here at work. So it looks like you know sunglasses. That's, that's kind of good, actually, if it looks like sunglasses. Generally, it's a good thing. Well, you don't know him. Well, it's funny that you know my channel and you don't know his because he's, you know, in my um, every time well, I do get stats on who watches my channel and like my like I, I do get stats about you guys and your viewing habits and it says that a lot of my viewers also watch Alpine so you're kind of the, the the percentage of those who haven't who don't watch him and he's way more uh, YouTube famous than, than me definitely So here, see I have a nose shape, like I have some light peeking on the nose and I have some light peeking on the jaw here. So that's two shapes that I can put. Do you already have other guests planned? Um, most guests um, haven't responded. So right now, no, but I do have like lots of ideas, but I, I just try to, to go slowly with my uh, invitations. Cause I don't want to have like you don't, I don't want to send 10 invitations at once and have like four or five people responding yes at the same time and have to put them in a, you know, I want, I want to make it so that every time I get a positive response, I can make it as easy as I can for my guests. So I can, I can just only dedicate the, the the time to them and not say okay sorry uh, next Friday I already have somebody else and so you're going to be the third on my list so I'm going slowly with the invitations because if I don't have a guest it, like it's not a huge problem I can stream alone like what I'm doing here But I really want to make it like, it's tricky enough for somebody to just uh, just take a camera and decide to go live on somebody else's channel and paint live. So I want to make it as, you know, seamless as possible for them to just integrate the experience. Because it's not like I'm asking for, for something, you know, when I'm asking a guest to appear, for you guys, 
it's not mundane what I'm asking them. I'm asking them to perform live. And it's not for everybody. Like, not everybody is made for this type of uh, of uh, performance. Like, it's more like you can be the, the most amazing painter in the world, but be completely incapable of live painting or just just painting and talking at the same time. Like it doesn't, like it doesn't relate to skills. And like some people are wired so that whenever they are painting, they really can't say a word and and they really don't want to be bothered. Not I, I totally understand. Oh, um, totally understand, right? <laughs> well, I want to have everybody who who's willing to take part of this of this experience. Like, I know that a lot of people kind of uh, appreciate the streaming experience. It's a new thing for a lot of, a lot of the guests. Like, all the guests that I've had so far were brand new to streaming and live painting on YouTube, I mean. Um, so, not, not live painting in general, but um, uh, I kind of, I kind of understand why I never used this cutter as the end of painting. Uh, it's very staining, so it's not a great idea. <laughs> it's actually going to take me a long time before uh, I can paint. Um, like, it's going to take a long time to dry. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, okay. Oh, you did great, Balsam. Yeah, Balsam was actually live when we had a, a community party. Yeah. F yeah, for you guys. You guys were so brave. I mean, when I launched the idea of making the, you know, because just before, if you don't know, just before Christmas, we had a live stream where I was with um, Cody, Balsam, uh, Anya, uh, Blake. We had like lots of people from the community and we were painting together. And this is cool. So when I launched the idea at first, uh, when I launched the idea at first, I, I didn't think that a lot of uh, that a lot of people would actually agree. We had near as well. Um, I I didn't think that a lot of people would just be okay. And I thought, well, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just launch the idea. Who knows? Like, here goes nothing. But I'm pretty sure people will be too shy or lack self confidence. But like, you guys were actually impressive. Just going live and just. It was super fun. I really loved it. And I can't wait for the next um, community party. I was kind of disappointed of the, <clears throat> not of your performances, Cody and the rest. I was kind of disappointed of the Discord video feed that I had. Like it was very laggy. Uh, it was not, it was not great, but um, it didn't work well. Like, but this mostly the the tech stuff, like the video stuff, and this was, I was not happy with uh, with uh, how how I got to switch videos, how I, like 
it was all very glitchy, very pixelated. But that's just, just me. And I, I found actually a new way to make group calls. <laughs> so we'll experiment with a different platform next time. I learned to draw while working at a call center for nearly 10 years drawing graphite portraits from Cosmos and other fashion magazines. Drawing and talking is second nature. Oh, so you were talking on the phone and drawing at the same time? That's crazy. But I, I guess you have a script at these companies. Like they give you a script and you're, you pretty much just need to pretty much just need to um, follow the script, follow the line. So you can, <laughs> like you, you don't get too distracted with, uh, with drawing and painting at the same time. Oh my God, this paint, this paintbrush is messed up. I don't know what, what's wrong with that. I washed it once and since then it doesn't have any snap anymore. Ah. Okay, this one works. Seventy nine viewers. Yep, that's nice. Hello, everyone. Hello to the 70. How many likes, though? Because it's always less likes than, than views. Oh, almost the same number as viewers and likes. That's cool. But can we make it to 100? Can we make it to 100? Let's see. Actually, I think, what is this? I found this. But the number, I think the number here, it does, it reacts to how many people are talking. It's not the number of viewers, it's the kind of a, the, the hype meter. So the, the more the score, the more it means you're talking. So if you talk more, it will push the number and make it higher. I don't know what it does. Let's just put it on the side for the moment. <laughs> I don't know what it does, but we'll, we'll see. It's a, a, little, a little widget that I found. Ah, I'm just going to switch my earphones. Can we get 79 likes? But hold on, if you, like if the number of viewers drops, I don't want the number of likes to, to drop as well. So it shouldn't mirror the, like it technically should, uh, only go up, right? Don't take your like when you leave. Don't dislike before you leave. Don't think that you have to dislike before leaving. <laughs> That's not how it works. Hype in the chat for painting. Hype number is five. I don't know what it does. Like, like it's the first time I watched this. Okay. Command, switching to palette for 10 seconds. Wow, that's pretty nice. Back to easel. So yeah, when I was talking about not drawing features, what you can do is what I'm doing here is kind of try to find landmarks 
that will help you position the features. So what you want is like I'm trying to identify the negative shapes. Warning, emoji wall starts in 10, 9. Oh my eight, god. Seven, emoji wall everybody. Six, emoji five, wall. 4 3 2 oh. 1 go. Emoji, emoji wall, wall unlocked. This oh my is god. chaos. Seriously, okay, we need so to break YouTube. Okay, so if you don't know about emojis, emoji wall, you we have, have to just minute. spam emojis. Let's go chat. In the we chat. Can do it. And we have one Let's minute chat. to Quick. break YouTube. Spam emojis. We need to fill the screen. And like no it doesn't matter what it means, it's I'm going serious. to fly all over we the have place. To spam emojis in chat now before and, the timer runs and out. Yeah, that's just Hurry up. well the hype meter Quick. is probably Let's going go to chat. It's probably going to explode. We have to spam emojis like in chat now before the oh timer runs out. No time to waste. I'm serious. Steven is going crazy. Quick. Let's go chat. Let's go chat. Let's go chat. Wow, Let's go chat. It's flying. So nice. Hurry up. It ends in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh. Stop. Oh. Emoji cooldown. <laughs> nice one, chat. GG. G G. That was that was a good emoji wall. I think the best one we've had so far. Everybody was quick to react. That's pretty cool. Even some who barely talk normally. I see some new names here. <laughs> I see some names that I almost never see writing so everybody took part in emoji wall even like the silent majority and thank you thank you everybody this was nice i see on youtube is 10 likes unless there is something i'm supposed to do Oh, uh, maybe it's just your page not refreshing. It's... So 18, the hype number is 18. That's our max for the, for the night. Yeah, emoji wall is a, a mod superpower. You have to be a, a wonderful mod to have this of this power or I don't know get a certain like level in, I don't know how it works exactly oh yeah it definitely went up with the emoji wall Eighty-seven. Oh my god, that's good. There is turnover though, so you, we like people come and go. Not everybody's watching at the same time, so there's always like a little bit of a, oh, you can do that. You can like twice. It's, it's crazy. What if you if you open the same thing, like if you are on your computer and you open the same tab twice, if you're watching from a from Chrome from a browser, if you open two if you open two windows or two tabs with the stream, if if you like both, does it count? Can somebody check that? Oh my god, they have power average programmed. Is that normal? Like, do they... Like, is there something they have to work on? That they have to cut the power? Is 
It does. Ah, oh, you can't do it. So we can't abuse the system. We have to grow this um, this stream loyally. Actually, did I like? Can I like my own stuff? Yes, I think, but not from this screen. Got to go and check my own. They removed it after the K-pop. Yes, I can find ninety. Yeah, I can like my own stuff. I usually like is just from my kind of control control panel I can't like from there I have to go to the they removed it after the k-pop hey the delay is not bad I thought there would be so yes, much I more delay 90 yeah okay All right, so see what I was talking about, about not drawing features? Like this is typically it. I'm trying to build the shapes. Um, oh, this was, uh, this was my ad because I opened my own, uh, my own stream to, to uh, like it. So um, this, is what, this is what you could hear. Man, I see my nose. I'm getting so self-conscious of my nose during all these streams. <laughs> yeah, this is an ad. Like, you know the ads for like the, the fake, fake uh, mobile games that when you download the game, you don't get to play exactly what they do. Uh, I have a good triangle nose. What does that mean? Is that good? Is this a good thing to have a triangle nose? Should I get a nose job? You would, you would tell me if I need to have a nose job or like, like an entire, you know, face lift. Like Florent, I'm sorry. We, we can't look at you anymore, you're just too ugly for us. Like... Like, we can't bear staring at your nose all day and, and your ears all the time. And the back of your hair is messy. Please do the back of your hair properly because this is the only thing we see, you know. I will accept all your um, all your complaints. <laughs> Typically French in a good way. <laughs> well, I like that. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know if it's good or not. But, um... <laughs> I'm joking, Cody. I'm joking. Typically French, hey? Oh, I do have my French music. It's been a while. Oh, 
l'heure du Art French. C'est à l'heure du Art French. Look at this nose. Oh, the French nose. Le nez. Very good. Ce French. Les gens qui parlent en français, ils ont tellement de charisme. Yeah, that's my little French moment. I, I can't help it, guys. I'm... I'm pathologically French. I'm the... Where's my baguette? Yeah, I, like it's... It's in the kitchen. <laughs> Dans la cuisine! Although we don't get baguette every day. Like it's typical French to get your bread every day, fresh baguette every day. We don't do that. Usually we stack uh, good fresh bread for um, several days. We just uh, freeze the like um, more rustic country bread, countryside bread. Hey, what's going on here? An alarm? Oh, it doesn't have batteries. The battery's dead. This is my... Wow, shut up. This is my uh, little IKEA timer that I use in my painting sessions. And uh, are these rechargeables? No. I hate escargot. Well, most French people do, though. Like, a lot of people. Like, it's... I know, and I only know old people who still like this. No French people of my age that I know eats this. <laughs> well, I learned mostly at school, but then I studied, and actually I studied in uh, in Germany. Uh, I studied philosophy. You know, I I did have a lot of uh, opportunities to go there and um, and speak with other students, both in German and English. So I did learn to to uh, speak fluently there, and I also. Um, also, I went to London for uh, six months. I was a Londoner for six months. And yeah, London is such a great city. I didn't pick up the British accent though. Don't ask me, I'm, I'm not gonna... I couldn't um, do it for you. But um, especially because maybe the Londoner accent is not the same as the other types of British accents. All the important conversations happen when I have a call at work and I'm looking at the chat very confused. The accent from London sounds so posh. It is a bit like that. I don't know. I could red make it for you. But it's something like that, ain't it? I don't know. <laughs> I heard somebody talk like that in London, so just maybe that's what I picked up. I there was also this guy, this Scottish guy, and he had such a strong accent, I couldn't understand a word. But he like also had like sometimes he switched modes and he like <laughs> spoke more clearly. But when he was full Scottish accent, I couldn't understand a single word.
Yes, Jasmine is French. So we have uh, Jasmine, Nolwen, and I. Who else is French? Aurelia, maybe? I don't know. Who's a team? Uh, who here is team France? Raise your hands. Don't don't be don't be shy. Ah yeah, I remember what. I guess I've I've tried using this as underpainting uh, underpainting cutter. It's definitely very staining. Which is not very helpful for what I want to do. Maybe, what, what if I... Five more likes! Five more likes! Five more likes! We can do it! We can do it. For some reason, you thought New Zealand. Well, that's. We actually do have a lot of um, people from New Zealand and Australia who watch in the morning. Yeah, this is a nice cutter. I like the cutter. But for my way of working, you see, it makes these little like stains, like dark spots, kind of. And it's it's not it's not perfect. So I'm gonna try to just. I'm gonna start actually uh, painting with full cutters because I don't have the choice. Normally, I would just refine the drawing a bit more. But, well, let's say it's going to be more spectacular for... for your viewing experience. You'll see more than just a, a drawing with paint. You'll see an actual painting. That's nice. That's what you come for on a painting channel. I don't know, why would she say Minotaur? <laughs> like, okay, but yeah, no, no real reason. Well, the only reason I would pronounce the word Minotaur would maybe if I was um, doing a Picasso analysis, because he did paint a lot of Minotaurs. But I still think Minotaur and Minoritaire are pretty far. <laughs> Minoritaires mean you're a minority. <laughs> like, yeah, you came from a revolution. It's a little bit too late for us. Like, we have no more king to be had so now we just uh, strike every couple weeks <laughs> that's what we do all right oh my god i remember last session i was doing the Riley uh, method. Hey Christopher, did you do it by the way? I didn't see it in the Discord, the exercises. But like, imagine if I had to do it right now, it would just take so much time. Right here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do three main uh, mixing base cutters. And, and I'll uh, work for that, from that. I don't need much more. So one highlight, one mid-tone, and one shadow, and that's... You can get away with three, especially in the beginning. Uh, 
Okay. Oh. I'm gonna start with that as a kind of an underpainting harder and Doesn't the, by the way, the chat, does the chat link, the, does the chat link for the Discord, is it still, uh, does it still work? Because, like, sometimes I have problems with my uh, links, some of them expire. Let me know if it doesn't work, the link in the chat. Oh my god, Nolan, yeah, I was so confused as well at first. It's not that bad, like, one thing that's important is don't think that you have to keep track of all the conversation, it's impossible, like, like people talk and start new conversations all the time, just try to go for what you're interested in and pick up a conversation that you find interesting and you you have like the different channels on the what is it on the left so you can find the the the, the topic that you're interested in and you, you get there you see what happens and you you um enjoy the enjoy the fun i would need a filbert Give me a good filbert. Oh, this feels nice. Uh, it's it's okay. Like it, it, I promise it goes fast. It comes fast. Like you, you get the you catch the drift. Uh, pretty. Uh, pretty quickly. Um, is this the only filbers I have? Okay, well, let's try it with this. The best underpainting color let's just say that which is why I wanted this cadmium orange well what time is it are you I think I'm gonna go for a three hour session today. I'm feeling great and I think it's going to deserve the three hours. <laughs> and I've got a lot of pressure. I'm, I'm getting Alpi next week. He paints the most gorgeous female portraits, so... Like, I have a lot of uh, pressure here. So I really need to... I really need to uh, work on my... Uh, make my best painting. Uh, what is this, this red? Is uh, because it's um, well for it's not the best for the underpainting that I like to do because I like to just wipe it off with a little bit of um, um, a painting um, like a um, little bit of um, paper towel but with this one it kind of leaves uh, dirty residues like these stains and it doesn't erase properly for what I like to do so it doesn't work for the type of underpainting that I like to do. But 
you know in general it it looks great though oh yeah this alice in one room is so great and all like amazing i've seen um last time i i saw him in an ad on youtube for some product and i skipped it and i wasn't there oh my god it's out there but I, I skipped it, like, I, I have the reflex to skip the ads. But he's been part of a, a partnership with some brands, and he was just uh, the, the, the main, you know, the main figure in the YouTube ad. It wasn't on his channel, it was like an actual YouTube campaign. Oh my god, this brush dried. Mm. 103 likes, yay! That's cool, thank you very much for the likes. I like, I like, love this. So a little bit of a metal Legend of Zelda for, uh, as a thank you for the 103 likes. Just for fun. I love this. Love this remix. It's metal for nerds like me. I like to play with my sound effects. Very nice. Okay, <laughs> that's it. Not gonna bother you with the sound effects anymore. Yeah, when I found this uh, this uh, metal remix, I had to include it in my uh, in my soundboard. This one, like, I don't know, it's a remix I found online. Uh, yes, I think the information is not clear on my channel. I should put that more clearly, which is because when I first started streaming, I, don't, I didn't have a, a... I didn't have a... Um, a definitive like schedule so I didn't really you know promote the the actual hours and I still like you know it still changes but normally it's Fridays and Tuesdays at this hour here approximately uh, next Friday will actually start sooner uh, because Alpi um, is not a is not a very uh, uh, is not a, a night owl painter like me. He prefers to paint a little bit uh, earlier because it doesn't repaint at night. <laughs> and he he's from Germany, so what um, I I we sort of split it in uh, in half between keeping the schedule and. Um, so it's going to be one hour earlier than normal next week, next Friday. Other than that, it's 9 p.m. Paris time, which is whatever hour, depending on your time zone. I don't know. But yeah, I could, uh, I should actually put the uh, a reminder and make an actual post to let everybody know. Um, for this one though, I did put a reminder on my Instagram. I don't know if it works. Like if, if a lot of people come from Instagram, did, did you come from Instagram? Like if somebody came from there, uh, maybe it will let me know that the Instagram kind of notification helps. Other than that, um, Other than that, 
if you want to not miss anything from me you just uh, next to subscribed there is a little um, a little menu on YouTube next to subscribe if you just open it and say and trigger all notifications then it will let you know whenever I'm starting a new live stream otherwise um, it won't Like normally, Joy, on my uh, channel, there is um, every time I schedule a stream, it's always scheduled three to four hours in advance, and you can set a reminder. But this is only if YouTube gives you the notification, which it, it, um, it doesn't always... Uh, it doesn't always give notifications like YouTube is really finicky with that. Like a lot of people, they don't receive the notifications from YouTube because YouTube considers that maybe they don't want to watch my, uh, my face when I'm painting. Yeah, if you really, if you don't have all notifications, you're 100% going to miss a lot of the streams. If you don't have all notifications, it means YouTube only notifies you when it feels like you might want to watch one of my streams. But let's say you've only been watching gardening videos before and after then it will not suggest a painting video in the middle because youtube considers that that's not part of your current points of interest even though you have proven that you want to watch this Hey Carrie, one of you. Oh, cool. So the the Instagram notification is is useful then. Good to know. That's nice. <laughs> you only watch art and true crime videos. I wish, I wish it was like that, Christopher. But now it's even more than that. YouTube will just... YouTube will just study your entire watch history. And it will think... It will see if you truly want to watch painting videos right now or not. And it will basically decide for you. <laughs> because uh, based on your 
history in your behavior. Yeah, but notifications on YouTube are famously uh, finicky. You know, it's my usual technique where I take several references, mix and match, and recreate a different kind of face. So I have a reference for the shadows, have a reference for the background, and I, I'm going to try to mix and match as I normally do. Because of my underpainting, so I I really reference. love. Uh, no, there's no reference. So <clears throat> because of my, um, the, I didn't put the reference here. Back to normal. Uh, because of the um, Queen Acadon underpainting, it makes the cutters dirty because it's still uh, like look at this it's still very much wet and kind of unworkable right now since i don't have time to waste what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to work much thicker than uh, the normal like right now i'm pretty much out of my comfort zone because I have to paint in a manner that's not necessarily how I normally paint. I normally paint um, with thinner layers first, which is what you're supposed to do here. If I want the cutters to stick, I'm going to make, I have to make them slightly thicker than normal. And might be problematic, but considering that it's an underpainting still. I think I'm gonna be fine. Hello Angelica! Uh, the paint mixture is titanium white, yellow ochre, cadmium orange, quinacridone, burnt amber. Yeah, so, well, note to self, Queen Acredon as an underpainting kind of pollutes the pollutes the colors and make them feel dirty.
I have this black prepared, but it's pretty dry. I don't know if it's still usable. We'll try. It's, you know, a cutter that you have that stays on your palette overnight. And it's suspicious looking the next day. Well, we'll try. I don't want to waste. Okay. Um... Yeah, cool. Can you remind me at the end to review the new challenges? Still, I th I still think we're gonna make a new round uh, on uh, on Tuesday. Still no rush. Um, it doesn't like, it's always tricky, just, I mean, de depends on what you feel more comfortable with. Like normally I would prefer to first draw them and outline them a little bit more precisely. Cause still here I'm, I have to work on proportions with paint straight up. It's doable, but it's it's more difficult this way. It's a bit more messy. Oh, my cat hates to be in my studio, never comes in. I tried to lure, you, lure him in with uh, cat food, but he wasn't fooled. Just, I don't know, it's not quite for him, it's not quite and cozy enough for him. He doesn't like when, like, you move furniture and I think he considers all the paintings to be moving furniture so he's not happy see the quinacridone is making my life terribly hard right now because it makes all the colors very dirty. But once I cover everything, I'll see clearly. So I need to cover like this. Hello, Jeff. This is Operation Cover Up. I need to cover everything up so that I can see more clearly. See, 
I'm voluntarily leaving the eyes kind of um, Well, no matter what, so it will work as a kind of a proof or a statement that any and all ways of painting can work in the end. Even maybe, um, maybe I'll not get this. Maybe I'll not get this first layer properly, but it will maybe work. Maybe I'll, I'll do the next layer and it will uh, correct it. So, but here I want to cover most of this space here. Like I have one goal, which is to get the proportions right. So get the eyes in the right spot, get the nose in the right spot. It's going to take me in the three hour range, I'm sure. So for example, this jawline here is too low. Yeah, mouth and chin placement, that's what I want to focus on that's actually very crucial. It's funny how I never thought that Queen Arcadon would pollute the end of painting so much. I really think that I'm I'm not doing it again. See you, art thinkers. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So. I'm fighting against this Queen Acredon. Uh, the dripping lines just happen to be there. Not meant for effect. It's going to be covered up. Um, so no, not not necessarily. So yeah. Um, okay.
So I need more order in my colors and uh, maybe a bit of medium to help spread. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna rethink my cutter, my cutters here. Reorganize, and I'm gonna start over. So, this was a bit of a failed attempt, but we're gonna get there. So, um, what I think is my colors need more punch when I apply them on the canvas. Because for some reason, this quinacridone makes them feel dirty. So, I'm going to try to make them more clean and more punchy if that makes sense i don't know maybe it will not work we'll, we'll see and just when i find the right cutters that actually just work we'll see how it goes Okay, so I now have a, a mixture with a little bit more than three. Like before I only had three, which is normally how it work, but here it doesn't, doesn't, um, doesn't work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add more, more shades. So, so I want to, the goal, because the, the my underpainting makes everything dirty so i have two options i can let it dry and wait for it to be dry before i start over or i can just um i can change my approach and not necessarily paint how i normally do but just this time try something A bit more structured for this and uh, we'll see we'll see how it works and I'm gonna add a little touch of fluidity I'm gonna my cat is stuck outside. I'm gonna go and open the door for him. Not in my studio, but in the house. He, he wants to come in. He must be freezing outside, so just gonna take a minute to open to my cat. So. So here, the medium will make the the paint smoother. Yes, it was the beginning of the video with the blackboard. So you can rewind and go back to the beginning of the video. I'm opening the door for my cat and I'll be back.
Okay, I'm back. The underpainting layer, yeah, it does influence a lot for the rest of the painting. And in this case, because it's not dry, um, it's uh, it's a lot of work. Like if you let it dry, it doesn't influence as much. In this case, since I'm doing it right away, it's a bit more um, difficult to work with in this case. So what I need to do is make my work cleaner. Let's just say that because the paint doesn't... The paint feels dirty so I need to make it cleaner. Um, now I normally don't do much of a grisaille because I don't have time. Like in this case, for example, it could it could help though. In this case, uh, it would be tempting though. And I, now that I'm considering it, it would feel. It would kind of um. Help. Uh, but normally I don't do grisaille um, just for the the time that it takes. Not that I don't have the patience. Uh, mostly because I find it. I find that it, I prefer to work with a full cutter in the painting. everywhere
not snow. Well, we already we already did snow. You're you're good in the snow. You already did your part. See you, Aurelia. It was nice having you. See you next time. Make sure you have the bell notification on so you don't miss a next stream. Um, yeah, the snow, the snow challenge is over. Well, not over, but we have a new one. And the snow one is like we, we've already reviewed it. We did everything we could for it. So now there's no, nothing really new. Um, Uh, okay, the Queen Act done. Ah, no, it's still not drying, man. Um, I'm waiting for it to dry, to just stop leaking through in my paint. Let's be clean. I'm going to try to <laughs> I'm going to try to zoom in to help you see what I mean by clean. I need to tidy up the painting. Man, I, I normally don't use, uh, like this is the, a crash course on adaptability for you. I'm gonna zoom in and show you how I'm, I have to paint super tight and very clean. Because you see this disgusting discoloration that I get here? All this, how dirty it looks. Well, that's what I'm going to try to fight against. Subtlety, Gary, really? You? I mean, no offense. Nice distraction, nice distraction.
Man, I can't believe I have to paint this way. This is... Man. Well, it will teach me a lesson for trying to improvise during a stream. Always stick to the old and time-tested pigments that you know. But I do like this underpainting color though, so I have no regret, but this is not normally how I paint. Well, it, rem it gets me back to my old, old days when I first started, I used to paint more like that in the beginning, so very tight in the beginning, working uh, bit by bit. It works also, it's just... See, adaptability. It's not like there is just one way of painting. It's always more. Yeah, adaptability. Something you need, right? So here, yeah, I'm not going to lie. If I was alone, I would say, well, screw this, I'm letting it dry and I'll come back when it's dry and when it's dry, it doesn't make a difference because basically the, the color doesn't affect the new paint. But it's also very fun to work like that. I tried. There's the yellowish highlight here, just on this side of the nose, and on this the part of the cheek as well.
Yeah, we'll see exactly. Yeah, we'll see where it goes. Well, I think I can. What time is it? 230. I, I think I'm gonna go 330 before I can fix it, but I don't mind. It's gonna make a, a better stream session. I'm probably going to lose some of you. You're gonna to go to bed or do something else. Stream's going to be probably a bit longer, but. We'll get there. Slow and steady. Hey, nice, Balsam. Great. Uh, no, it's actually um, a mix of cadmium orange and yellow, uh, what is it, yellow ochre? Yeah, it's like that, exactly. The, the thing is, I can't compensate, like, this is too much mental straining, uh, Chad, so I can't compensate for the, the, the pinkish, reddish effect from coming from the background. So what I have to do is just paint, but with a less of a, with a, a technique that doesn't allow the, the cutters, this cutter from the background to, to raise to the surface as much. It's just basically by going with little touches here it's not allowing the the background cutter the end of painting cutter to to rise to the top the the thing that's hard by doing that is that normally i figure the proportions before and now I have to be very careful because the proportions, I'm doing them right now without, see, I don't have any outline. And normally I, I like to have more, more, um, more of a defined outline before I start. But in this case, I have to do without. It's okay. But um, not super, super easy. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to make more uh, black because I'm running out of it. This old thing here. <laughs> no, it's too sticky. Um... 
Yeah, sure, Felicia. Pinkish. And in my case, there is some yellow orange glow light coming from this side here. You can see it, which makes it even harder though. So, um, the mental gymnastics, the mental like struggle is a, a bit more difficult in this case when you have multi cutters like you have light coming from your main light source which is here this direction here and you have a sort of a, a an, an alternative light coming just making this little glow here did you see this little spot here and on the side on the side of the nose Well, you know what? Since I'm there for an extra hour with in your amazing company, I'm gonna go grab some uh, some some what? Coffee would be too too bad. I'm gonna go grab some nice herbal tea and come back. And I'm gonna finish mixing and I'm gonna finish these eyes. So, and I'm so happy to spend more time. Actually, I wish I really want to do in an I have no life painting session where I just go live all day and paint and have no, no other thing in the world except that I have a family. So it's difficult, but I have to do that before I have the baby. Like, if you don't know, my wife and I, we are expecting a second child, like a second baby for, uh, we already have a son. Uh, my son, Augustin, is four now, but we're expecting a, another child. So if I want to make this session, non-stop painting live stream session fun, I have to make it before the baby's there, because I tell you, once the baby's there, you can say goodbye to live streaming. Or, you know what? Oh, I have such a big idea. When the baby is there, obviously the baby's not gonna sleep at night. Like, I can do a all, whole night, non stop, non, no sleeping, all night session. I'm just, I'll just take breaks to take care of the baby, come back, take care of the baby, come back. This way the baby will not wake me up at night because I'm painting all night and sleeping during the day. Smart, that's big brain, big brain. All right, I'm gonna have a little break, but I'll be back soon. this one not back soon ah <laughs> oh, okay is it working now nah, I think I'm gonna leave that I'm gonna leave that if somebody is asking where I am just say I'll be back All right, gotta grab some herbal tea. See you.
command, switching to palette for 10 seconds. Wow, that's pretty nice. Back to easel. This chat is super cool, best art community on YouTube. I'm having a great time. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> I went and grabbed some herbal tea. So, we have for you today what we have a uh, So I have some um, chamomile and and what I don't know. I, don't know. I took the first like tea bag that I could find. So see you. Okay. Oh boy. So what happened during my absence? I hope you. I hope you were nice. Oh no, I see some jokes. Ah, the jokes of the cannibals. Oh, hot chocolate. That's nice. I love hot chocolate. And only, only my wife makes it makes it the right way you know when you come back from a very uh, cool uh, winter day and like my wife makes the hot chocolate with actual chocolate mm, just like she nice she makes it like really nice from scratch not just the, the powder crap she makes the actual stuff and it's just amazing. Uh, no, actually some people actually do work well Apparently, some people do work while uh, watching this stream, so please, no NSFW jokes. <laughs> we actually have some people working, so... I don't know, um... <laughs> don't know how you can sneak the stream at your, at your job. I 
go to friends just to eat real food? What do you mean? You don't have real food? Like, don't, don't get things wrong about France. Like, we have a nice food culture and all. Like, a lot of people in our country still eat crap, so. See you, Angelica. Thanks for dropping by. Sorry, I should mute myself before uh, drinking because I'm going to spare you the disgusting um, slurpy drink noises i don't know like some asmr stuff they they do these noises i've always hated them i don't want to be just all like like they, they do like like weird noises like that yeah boys Oh yeah, if you want to watch the, the stream from your job, just uh, invite your boss and make sure he can uh, connect to the chat so that we can all say hi. <laughs> if your boss surprises you watching our stream, just say, what, you're not watching? You're not in chat? But you didn't say hello in the chat? What kind of miners are that? Boss. And then he'll just... Uh... <laughs> yes, exactly, no one. But I was... Um, I was kind of mimicking the... ASMR slurping noise trend like it's an actual thing Well, that's what um, we've been trying to do this year and I expect to do more um, this coming season is grow a lot of our own food here. Um, especially with the baby. So the first, like the baby's not gonna eat uh, anything but milk in the beginning, but um, it's going to be nice, like even for my son to have like homegrown uh, you know, carrots, potatoes. Uh, what do we have? Like we have lots of stuff here um, and I, I even want to grow more next year. Oh, that's nice. Uh, that's nice, Balsam.
Oh, that's nice. Um, that's nice, Anita. Heating, heating cook. I, I, I never believed in like healing food or stuff like that, but I eat just because uh, I want to survive. Eat the calories. Growing your own food is like definitely a, a completely different experience, like it's so much more enjoyable to eat like what you produced. Um, as much as possible, like, like I'm not pretending that you get, we, are, we can be autonomous uh, self-sufficient or anything but you know just um, it's so great except for when you have a four-year-old and he just says that I don't like this and you had you struggled so much to make it grow And he just says, Ew, I hate it. But no, he's not like, he's not like that most of the time. He just always tastes and he ends up liking it in the end. He's a nice, he's a nice boy. We're so lucky. Such a nice boy. Such a sweet kid. He was kind of like, he went through the, you know, terrible two phase where he was very, uh, you know, how they can be at two. And we were kind of worried that he was going to stay a little monster for forever. But he, he grew out of it and he's like super sweet. Oh my god, be a dad again. It's going to be game changing, that's for sure. There's always a revolution phase. I know, it, like, he eats most of the vegetables, just some of them. Um, some of them he doesn't really like, and it doesn't matter if he grows them. Just like, you know, sometimes he says he doesn't like something for lunch and he likes it for supper and or vice versa. So, you know, <laughs> like taste is, um, 
it's a variable that's very hard to quantify. <laughs> but hey, all right. The benevolent emperor phase? Is that a thing? Yeah, you know, sometimes it's like we're like that. Sometimes we feel like it, sometimes we don't feel like certain foods. Like, why shouldn't they be allowed to? Okay. Um. Oh my god, I'm soon over 40, I'm 37. What is it like? Yeah, still young, that's what they say to old, old people. I mean, every age has its own, like, you know, problem with age. Like at Eight-year-old, they just dream to be twelve-year-olds, and then, then at sixteen, you dream to be eighteen, and then you start going in reverse, right? <laughs> you start wishing you were twenty again, twenty-five. Although I don't, I don't like. I don't think that. I still think that the 25, 20 era was nice and all, but this was definitely not my maturity period. Like I didn't have, like I, I learned a lot in this, in my twenties and stuff. I did a lot of uh, important stuff that you have to do when you're young, but I, I didn't get a, an actual, you know, I didn't figure out what I wanted to do. So it wasn't, all in all, it wasn't a very productive period of my life. There was basically in my 20s for me, there was basically no art. So all in all, if you ask me, do you, would you like to go back? Like we've invented this time machine. Do you want to go back to your 20s? I would say, eh, no. Like if you have to relieve the same stuff. Like nothing crucial happened for me in my 20s. Well, yeah, no, except meeting my wife and all, but <laughs> like, it's gonna be bad.
it was mostly like my 20s was mostly about personal and all but I figuring out my life but not figuring out my purpose if it makes sense No, no, the nothing important thing, it's staying between us. Oh yeah, in that case, yeah, but there's going to be, there has to be um, a drawback. Obviously, I'm going to say both. Well, because if you allow me to pick both, I'm going to pick both, of course. Easiest response. Let's get dirty. I need to clean up a bit.
Yeah, well, there's no turning back, but that's good that you figured it out. Now it's better late than than never. Well, I've been painting for three hours, so I'm gonna pick the easy answer. And, uh... Well, I also paint, like, not gonna lie, I also normally paint differently. Um, I don't know if you were there, but you can rewind to a point where um, I realized that my underpainting was not... Um, was making my colors all dirty. So I had to slow down and just adapt and take a different approach in the middle of, the, of my painting. Because what I normally, the, the, the approach that I normally use wasn't working here in this case. It was way too, uh, way too dirty, the texture wasn't right. So I had nothing going for me. And yeah, normally I, I work, I don't work like that. But, you know, that's, pr that's proof that you, you don't have to work a certain, like you are not attached to a certain work process. It's just what you feel more comfortable, what you feel mo more comfortable with, but you're still capable. Like if you're, paint if you're capable of painting one way, you're capable of painting many different ways because basically your brain just hangs on to the results. Like you want a certain type of results to happen. There are certain, like different ways to get there. Like all the roads needs to roam. And basically your brain understands that. So you're capable of adjusting your your process, which means that you're capable of uh, switching styles if needed. You're capable of improvising. Don't think that you are not.
Oh. You know what? This is where I need my little baby. My little cobalt. Yeah, exactly. Things uh, evolve. I know you don't trim your brush unless it's um, it's already an old one and you have no use for it anymore. You want to kind of save it for something special. No, you just uh, have to keep them in good condition. Like if they need to be trimmed, it means that it's probably time to change them. Music is by Stream Beats by Harris Ketter. Just uh, type Stream Beats on Spotify.
Well, just Google it then. It's on all platforms. It's f the the quinacridone is finally drying, but it took a while. So you can f almost it almost starts to pick up again, and you can start to bring some some actual cutters back, but. Three hour and a half, yeah. Might be the longest since I picked up again in in what September, but probably not the longest. Um, my longest was twelve hour. That's my PR. Yeah, if, like it finally starts to feel normal again. The the paint finally starts to feel normal again, and with um, the pigments that I normally use for my underpainting, would have been much sooner. Yeah, exactly. I was a philosophy student in Freiburg. One hundred and twenty-four. Nice. That's actually a record. I guess the more time you stream, the more um, views and and likes and impressions you have. Like it's not no surprise that the the professional streamers on the on YouTube and Twitch they do like very regularly twelve-hour. Nine hour. I think they put in some serious, uh, serious numbers. I'm just painting, you know. I just need to finish this. Yeah, I burned my hand with my uh, my stove.
Hello, art teacher. Greetings from friends. It will work as a as in the painting, but I kind of feel the Carter's lack a certain type of punch that I would like. So they, it will require a second, uh, a second layer, definitely. Yeah, well this, I know that I'm not making underpaintings with quinacridone anymore or let them dry so that the layers don't mix. The Quinacridone and the painting can't mix with the rest. It's too staining of a pigment. It just doesn't work. Be happy as well. Actually, I was inspired by the, you know, the singer of uh, Paramore. I know, don't remember her name. But you know, because I get you where I'm running now. Na -na 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 again. That's kind of the, the look that I want. Um. Um, what's, what's her name? Uh, well, 
the singer from Paramore. Guess I catch. Cause I got you where I'm running now. Haley Williams. Well, it's kind of the look that I wanted. Well, I mean, one of her looks, I guess, because she doesn't, she hasn't always have her hair like that. <laughs> it's gonna be stuck in my head now. Cause it's gonna be stuck in my head now. Cause I got you where I'm running now Actually, I'm, I'm gonna listen to it Oh yeah, it's inspired by her, but I'm kind of remaking which is why I don't show reference because I don't have like the rights of the various references that I use. I use different ladies and different hairstyles. I combine. But I'm gonna listen to this music now. I can push it to four hours, I think. I need to do this so that YouTube doesn't listen to this music because if you listen to this music YouTube is going to be mad because it's copyrighted uh, where is it <laughs> 3 30 a.m. No, probably not.
There you go. This is my uh, throwback playlist of uh, pop punk. Where is it? Can't find it. I'm listening, you're not. I'm sorry, can't share. Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm prettier than Chick Norris. <laughs> what? Um, okay. Um, I don't know how to take that, but, um, I'll take it. <laughs> is it, is it getting late for you as well? It's getting late for me, but... <laughs> yeah, which is why I don't know how to take the compliment. I don't know if it's a compliment. You tell me, but... Yeah, well...
Well, he's gonna kick my ass because I'm better looking, right? Like, I am jealous. Just let me kick your ass. Okay, less thick. Oh my god, I'm listening to my old pop punk playlist right now. And I'm sorry, it's just hyping me up. Just hyping me up for... For the whole night. The paint is finally starting to be workable. Okay, I'm gonna just, let's see, blind test of um, quiz a cappella pop punk reference. Do you get it? The first one to give me the sound, the the tune. We'll call it the Nana quiz. It's a classic, guys. No, that's not the band. Oh, come on. You know this one. But you can't... I, I can't make you... I can't put the sound to you because... YouTube will say, no, no. Well, actually, I can put the... Put 
No, it goes choo choo choo. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Solo. Well, if I sing the lyrics, basically I give up the title. You might as well know. See, um, plus I suck at lyrics. Being too deep and I'm trying to keep my head instead of going under. In too deep by some forty one. Oh come on. Like I Maybe I was the only young person in the 2000s and that's why you never got to listen to this genre. This is typically my high school music here. Mm. Okay, jawline. Are you criticizing my a cappella skills? Oh, I've got it, Nolan. I've got it. But I'm gonna let stream, uh, I'm gonna let chat uh, guess. But I, I get it. So if you don't get it, like... Boom, boom, clap. Boom, boom, clap. Classic. All right, see you, Cody. Yeah, it's a gagné, Jasmine. Mais je, je l'avais dit, alors je sais pas si tu l'avais entendu pour le coup, j'avais donné la solution à un moment quand même. Mais...
Um, I'll let you be the judge of that, Nolwyn. I don't know. Sorry, um, <laughs> started again with the do do do. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. I, I have to stop humming. <laughs> I have to remember that you don't listen to what I'm listening to. I wish there was a. They could have an agreement with YouTube so that we can listen to copyrighted music without screwing ourselves for us creators. Like just sharing, but like normal sharing of the. Quand il me prend dans ses bras, qu'il me parle tout bas. Actually, my favorite song by Piaf is um, Hymne à l'amour. Na na na. Yeah, I can play, like, it's no problem, it's not going to strike my channel, it's just that basically they're going to take all the revenue for the stream, for just one song. It's not like, let's say, they have, like, the song for one hundredth of the time of the stream, but they're still going to take all the monetization for the entire stream. So basically... I get nothing for what I did, and they get everything for just this super short song that I played. Makes, uh, makes no sense, but it's to prevent abuse, I guess. Yeah, karaoke drawing. Karaoke night. Sounds like a fun idea. I need to do that. I need to make it happen.
Uh, yeah, Steven is kind of asleep right now. Well, if you quote like that's uh, Hotel California, but it's hard to... You should put less words. Just maybe just the first couple words, like on a dark distant highway. Because like just that would be enough. I would already have guessed it. So like, I like the game. Just put it less, put less words. I don't think it has anything to do with it. They're two completely different songs. From what I know, I don't know, like, I don't know the entire history, but. Um, ah, rising up, rising up, back on the streets, and, uh, um, ah, that's tougher, with just the first couple words. Tiger. Nice, nice catch. Now it makes sense, but I wouldn't have found it. Oh, nice, nice. We have, we can have this. 
Well, actually, we can make it a thing next time. Like, chat and... Uh, chat versus me. We can actually count score, keep score. <laughs> That's a good idea. I like, love the idea. Can... this one uh four hour we've been going on so you know 12 hours is just three times that if you take breaks it's fine it's just your social life that suffers oh that's um um can drama stream. That's uh, Bring Me the Horizon Festival. That's um, uh, the title is. That's one of the f most famous ones. Uh, hold on. I'm not cheating, I'm just checking the Bring Me The Horizon playlist. No, I'm gonna find the, the song just from looking at the title. Thirty million listeners now. Thirteen. Uh, so that's yeah, that's kind of feel my heart. I'm sure. Rocks floating. I I know that they've used the this this music actually for um, for uh, the Chad meme. Yeah, 13 million. I think the last time I checked their Spotify, they had like just seven something. Probably just the meme on TikTok can just boost their um, their listenings.
Mm. Ah, there's a lot of colors that still look pretty dead. But for an under painting, it will work. So tomorrow I'll do the background, let this one dry. Sounds like a plan. I can't dry my demons, they know how to swim. Okay. Yeah, cutters look great. Underpainting cutter looked great, but it was tough to work with that. Oh boy. So I'm gonna leave it on that. Tomorrow I do the rest and hope for the best. All right, but I think I'm done for this. I've managed to almost save it from near catastrophe because this dripping blood color here was a nightmare to paint over. Still, yeah, it's still, look at this, it's still not dry at all. But hey, made it happen somehow. I don't know how, but I made it happen. Thank you for being here. It was great. We had a record stream for duration and you were there. You will be able to say I was there officially and forever. That's uh, a badge of honor for you. You all get a badge of honor for uh, the four hour stream. You were there. <laughs> Thank you for being there and uh, I'll see you for the next one. So next Friday, it will start one hour earlier and uh, next uh, stream is going to be normal. See you everybody, take care and bye bye.